TJ Deuce. He's got Bookman in the right circle, who shoots and scores! Bookman, slap shot, scores! Bandit's not done here as Bookman fires and scores! Welcome back to Bookie on the Bench. I'm your host, Zach Bookman, and for today's guest, we have Ryan McAllister from London, Ontario. Ryan, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, Bucky. How are you? I'm very good. Ryan, how would you end up from Brooks? Uh, you know, blockbuster trade, one for one, 2018, over from Prince George, and, you know, I've been here ever since. And the rest is history. And uh, if you guys didn't know, Ryan McAllister is the leading goal scorer in the AJHL with 81 points. Ryan, how are you doing this year? Uh, you know, I play with TJ Hughes and Devin Phillips, and he's coming back soon. And I try not to think about it, but, you know, Zach Bookman, you're three points away from Cal McCarr. What do you have to say about that? Uh, you know, it's, it's an honor, but, uh, you know, I don't, like you said, I want to think about it. I just want to keep playing the game, and it'll come to me. It'll come to me. If not, if I break my leg or something, that's, <laughs> that's how it is. But, uh, yeah, we're both having success, and that's great. But uh, let's get right into questions. Ryan. What is the worst sport you're at besides hockey? <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I would say the sport that I'm worst at is definitely ping pong. Yeah. When we play in the room, I would say I'm bottom five on the team. Yep. And I tried to play TJ Hughes one time, and I lost 11-1. So just say I'll never play ping pong again. What about pool? Like, you're not a bad pool player, I heard. No, I, I, I'm not the greatest, but I'm also not bad. I'd say I'm average, but ping pong is definitely the okay. worst. Okay. For sure. We got to get into the regular question every week. Yeah. A million dollars on the line. And you have to call a teammate, but they have to miss the call. Who's it going to be, Ryan? That's pretty easy. It's TJ Hughes. I know a lot of people have been saying me lately, but... 100% TJ. TJ, TJ Hughes. Hughes. We, the he same is. answer last week. Same answer. Uh, you know, I'm going to go with the safe answer here. He's standing right beside us right now, and I'm going to go with TJ Hughes because I want that $1 million. Like, but why? Like, I, people have said TJ's always, like, putting in work. He's always, like watching film he's like never on his phone but like what's your reason why he's not answering you just know what tj is probably unreliable never really answers my text when i text him and you know he's always in the gym so that's why no he's, he's a good guy he works hard and that's what we want of our you know assistant captain on the team but uh okay let's get into another pretty serious question here Callie, do you have a pregame ritual? I do, actually. I eat the same pregame meal every game and i put the left side of my equipment on before the right every time what's that meal son that meal is uh, chicken Alfredo pasta with oh. uh, with a little glass of water. Nice, nice. Keeping it classy with the water. <laughs> Another question here. Kind of like similar thing. Ah, kind of, I guess. But uh, do you have like an important bus trip item like on the road? Uh, I would definitely say my pillow for sure. I like to take a nap and, you know, definitely headphones too. I don't watch a movie or a little TikTok on the bus. So AirPods, sure. are you AirPods Beats guy? What are you? I'm a Beats guy Beats for sure. Guy. All right, Callie, another hockey question here. Who has the worst tape job on the team? 100% Brendan Poshak. Okay, and uh, Doc here gave us a stick. Just look at how terrible this tape <laughs> job is. <laughs> this guy goes full blade, but he doesn't do the toe on both sides. I don't know what's going on. You know, look at his knob here. No grip. No grip. No. This stick is probably the shortest on the team as well. Just this is the ugliest tape job, 100%. Yeah, so fans, you know what you do with this. We're going to throw this. <laughs> get it out of there and... Hopefully, Posh, hopefully that snaps with a Zamboni because that's terrible. But, uh, okay, last question, Kelly, for you. Yeah. And it's, you know, I've asked it a couple times. I think I asked the Kenny, maybe Seymour, but <laughs> if you had to put yourself in a movie and live in a movie forever, Ooh. what are you picking? That's kind of put me on the spot, but I would say I would live in uh, the Step Brothers with Brennan and Dale <laughs> and be the, be the third brother there. It'd be pretty funny. <laughs> All right, Kelly, this is just about time. Uh, any last words to say to the fans? I got nothing. Sorry, guys. Yeah, nothing. Uh, Kelly, thanks for your time. Uh, that concludes uh, episode five, Bookie on the Bench. See you next week.